So now what you're going to do is we're going to move on to the text. So select your text tool and type your text. I'll use love to gimp and make it a bit bigger. And what I'm doing is I'm using Seagull Script Bold. When you downloaded GIMP, it should have come with this. You can use pretty much any scripty sort of text. I just use Seagull Script Bold because it's worked well for me. And your size will be about 58. That's what I'm using. And set your color to white. Just so that if any shows through, it looks more like shoelace. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go layer, layer to image, no, first you're going to go um, in your tool options for your text, which is this little icon, you're going to click path from text, and what this does is it creates a path like we created before, you can't see it right now, but it um, it's to the shape of your text here, and what you're going to do right now is you're going to go layer layer to image size and what this does is it removes the boundaries so that you don't get any sharp edges so you can edit as much as you want um, so this is already a new layer by itself and you're going to go to your paths dialog which I told you how you could open b before windows dockable dialogs path what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click your text path and you're going to click stroke path and make sure this uh, stroke path dialog will pop up and make sure it's set on stroke with a paint tool paintbrush and click stroke and what this should do is it should give you your shoelace text which is what we want and now you're going to go and what you're going to do is you're going to do repeat the egglet part I told you before I'm going to skip that part because I already taught it to you and I will be back in a min minute. So as you can see I'm back and I've finished my text egglets. I've just repeated the exact same thing I've done up here except scaled it down a little bit. And optionally you can go image, flatten image. And what this does is it creates just one big layer, merges all your other ones together to create one big layer in your layers dialog just to save disk space. But this is optional. And that's about it. Subscribe if you like this video, and thanks for watching.